Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I believe in you, me, you, me, you, me, you, me, yeah. So if you are new or returning, I appreciate you for being here. Thank you to all the new subscribers and all the old subscribers that keep coming back. So today I am outside of the Aldi's. Give it a thumbs up. Let's go. Yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain So my next stop was Dollar Tree If y'all have not gotten any seeds yet this year Go ahead and get you some Dollar Tree has them for a dollar I'm gonna try to do a small grocery store in my backyard And don't forget your cleaning supplies This is vital in your emergency preps Like a Friday night on the weekend I just don't want this moment to end And now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like the way where you reflect me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end Hey y'all so i've made it home um i'm gonna combine all the um hauls i did today together and i'll tell you my experience so the first thing i got from walmart is not the first thing but the first thing i'm showing you um is this baby red tomato tomatoes potatoes right here the russet potatoes this is a dollar and then i got these tortilla shells, I don't eat these, but my son does. Loves making um, burritos um, for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It was two twenty-eight, and then I got another thing of ginger ale right here, and that was two seventeen. No, two twelve. I wrote it on there, but I don't know where I put it. And then I had to stop back up on these right here, the cornbread classic stuffing. It's toasted cornbread blended with seasonings. It was two fifty, so I got two of those because I went through I think all of them for November and December, and then January for New Year's. So over here I have a simply orange, and I think it's eighty nine fluid ounces of orange juice, and then also right here I have some. Betty Crocker dark, dark chocolate. They had these for a dollar. Um, brownie mix. And these would be the better because it's dark chocolate. And this was new, y'all. Family size. Family size oatmeal cream pie cereal. I saw this the other day and when I took my mom shopping and I said, you know what? I'm going to get this even though I don't need to buy any more cereal. I'm good on cereal, but I want to see what they taste like. So I'm definitely going to let you know. If you've tried this already, let me know in the comments. Um, so then I got some more of the apple juices right here. These were $2.50. They didn't have like the usual apple juice that I would get. That's not Mott's in the, the whole bottle or whatever. So I got these and... I like these. I keep these in my room, but my son just found my stash. Hmm. So then I got the Hawaiian punch right here. The green one is the one that they like. That's like a dollar eighty-eight. Then over here, I have the Zatarans black beans and rice. Now I haven't tried this either. So if you have, let me know. And if so, how did you cook yours? Like, did you add? I see they have like bell peppers on the box it says just add meat so i guess any meat that you want to add just like if you were doing the um jambalaya i love their jambalaya so i said well let me try that i might like it so over here we have the b8 hydrate natural electrolytes 
Um, so I figured I don't eat a lot of vegetables, so maybe I should drink a can, you know, every day. It was $3.98, and I like V8 juice. I really do. And this is strawberry and cucumber. They had mango, I believe, also. And then up here, we, well, I got the unhealthy sitting on top of supposedly healthy stuff. But anyway, I'm pretty sure we're going to be watching some movies this weekend because my husband will be in town off the road. And so these are like some of my favorites. Boston baked beans. It makes you feel like you're at the theater. Then some Swedish fish. The kids like that. And then I got red hots because my son found my stash, y'all. Anyway, he ate my pretty much my whole box. So I got two red hots. One for him, one for me. And then I got a box of Skittles, original. Over, you hear that? And I see, I came up here so it wouldn't be all that noise. But yet, it doesn't matter where I'm at. I'm a magnet for them. <laughs> I love it, though. I'll, I'll probably be out my mind when they do leave the house finally. So over here, we have the Sweet Baby Rays, the... This is like my best one that I like, the flavor-wise, the mustard barbecue sauce. This one is so, it's not like my father-in-law's, but it's the closest I can find to his. Let me tell you, this man's barbecue sauce, he needs to really bottle that up and sell it. And, you know, I talked to him about that a long time ago, but he ain't giving up that recipe. So... We have the Gatorade Frost. I decided to get this. Let me know if you think that's a better deal. This was, well, one, the Sweet Babies is a 18-ounce one. And I paid about a, almost $2 for it. I forgot to write it down on that because there was a lot of people on that particular aisle. So... I try not to go on owls that have a lot of people. And if it's an owl I need to go on, I'll just go to a different owl and come back. But, um, so that one was close to $2. And then, I swear I got to go back to Walmart because I need that table. Um, this is killing my back. This makes six gallons, y'all. I didn't even realize that. Let me put it over here. This makes six gallons. And I've been eyeing this for at least a year and every time i say i'm gonna get it i never get it i get the bottles out of sam's or sometimes walmart and when you're working out you need something to replenish to uh, rehydrate so that's good for that yep next spot look six gallons that's good so that should last us um, over here, we have the butter flavor syrup. Um, of course, it's great value. I do get stuff that's not great value. So don't, please, y'all don't think that that's all I get. That's not all I get. But I'm, you know, on a budget. So that was $133. Then over here, I have the Asian sweet chili wing sauce. I had put the red hot sweet chili sauce in the buggy. And then I realized they had this because this stayed off the shelves this how good it is it is never on the shelf and when i saw it i just grabbed two bottles i wasn't gonna be greedy but i just grabbed two bottles and it was two no it wasn't 204 why were 204 that look i can't talk why did i write 204 on there it was 198 y'all so it was less than the red hot chili sauce and i'm telling you honestly it kind of tastes better than it red hot to me anyway so now i have the bun size beef ballpark these were 324 i don't know if we're making hot dogs this weekend i didn't do a menu for what i'm gonna make i'll do that sunday and we'll start the week fresh um then i got some beef um posca Kabasa, I think that's how you say it. Hillshire Farms. My daughter loves Hillshire Farms sausage. I, I could have it or not have it. I don't care. Um, Because I like Roger Woods, but she loves these. And I did say I was going to make some dirty rice. 
no jambalaya i'm gonna make some jambalaya so i got that for that jambalaya and then this drink mix right here this is a mango tampico if you ever seen the gallon jugs of tampico now they have the singles to go and i really bought this with um this girl tyra in mind because she said she really loved tampico so tyra or why 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 not that's their channels if you see this let me know if you want it then i can meet up with um walandra and give it to her if not it's going in my prepper pantry so oh i bypassed my rice so y'all i did i did i did i did a long-term prepper um pantry rice video so i hope that you saw that if not please go back and look at that so i was short a little bit of rice so i got another 20 pound bag and this was about eight dollars and 53 cents or something like that it was under nine dollars under nine under nine Whew. so i'm like on my knees or i'm sitting on my bottom now i'm on my bottom so over here I have, I eat these sometimes. It's the season filled peas and snap peas. I haven't had these from out the can. Like I have them fresh. But anyway, I wanted to try it. They were 92 cents. So I got two of those. If I like it, then I'll get more. Because I need to add more to my canned goods than corn and beans and all that other stuff. Then I got Manwich Bourbon Barbecue. This was a dollar. I don't know what that tastes like, but Bourbon Barbecue sounds really good. And then I got this Sloppy Joe Sauce. Of course, this is the great value, and it says just add meat. Duh. But it's 82 cents, and I don't know what that tastes like, but it's going in my pantry. Um, because if they get hungry enough and there's nothing else, which there should be something, they can eat it. Over here, I got these little half length spaghetti. It's just the fact that they already broke it up for you and it's in a shorter box, but it's still a pound of spaghetti and it's 82 cents. So I got two of those, two of the elbow macaroni, which was 82 cents as well. And then, which I'm making spaghetti tonight, y'all. So, I needed to replace my sauce and all that other stuff. So I just went head on and got it. So, I got another thing of all. Of course, this is $3.83. Like I told you in the last haul, my daughter's skin will break out. If I use anything other than a free and clear of perfumes and dyes type of powder. And I just like this one because, one, it, it feels like your clothes is clean. I like powders when it comes to washing clothes. I don't like liquids because I feel like your clothes aren't clean and you're using more liquid than you would normally if you had powder. So you can't beat 383 and you get 40 loads. Really, you can get more than that. And so over here, we have the Thick and Chunky Salsa. This was um, 98 cent or 92 cent, one of the two. And then I got the tomato sauce in a can but this particular one yes it's generic version i do have like the ragu downstairs but i did get this because one it was 36 cents and two you can add to it it says fill to can in five hours that's supposed to be how fresh it is but you know hey it's been on the shelf so anyway 25 calories you can add to it you know bell peppers onions what mushrooms whatever you want to add to it and make it your own so over here we have a different kind of sauce which is still great value but it's a mushroom pasta sauce and it's 88 cent i'm pretty sure you could probably use this if you were making pizzas as well oh i'm about to crack it okay my hand is getting tired over here we have the alfredo and i just made alfredo a few nights ago so i needed to replace it i never buy more than two of those at a time because i don't cook a lot of alfredo that's just a dish that my daughter 
likes to eat, but I don't try to eat pasta, you know, every week. It was $1.50 if I didn't say. And so, oh, right here. It's the last thing I got from Walmart haul was the Lysol all-purpose kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. This was $2.87. I was surprised that they had at least 20 of these on the shelf. But I only got one. Put that back up there. So now we're going to do the Aldi haul, which I had done it right after Aldi's. But then I said, you know what? I'll just combine them all together because I couldn't do this Walmart haul due to the fact that um, it was some people walking around the parking lot and I just did not feel safe with that. So I said no car um, haul today. So you have to be looking around, ladies and gentlemen, when you go out there. So I got another thing of applesauce. It's the cinnamon applesauce from Aldi. Move this aside. That was from Aldi. And you get two, four, six of these in here for $1.19. So I will say doing a price difference um, comparison, that is, the one in Walmart was $1.23 that I bought the other day. And I don't know what this one tastes like. I know the other one from Walmart tastes good. So if this one tastes good or even better, then I'll probably just start getting it from there and save me a few pennies on the dollar. But I didn't spend over for Aldi. I did not go over $20 at all. I actually spent $17.77. So I had extra money when I went in to go to the Dollar Tree, but the Dollar Tree line was so long, y'all. They had two registers open, the lines were down the aisle, and it was just too many people in there. So the stuff, the little bit of stuff that I did get, I said, it's not worth me getting sick. So I left from out of that store. So that meant I had that $22, $20 from the Dollar Tree, and then the $2 left over from Aldi. And then I went to, um, walmart and so that means i had 20 for walmart 20 from the dollar store and then two from aldi so that was 42 dollars that i had and all of my stuff from walmart came to 100 dollars. so i think i did good i really do so the corned beef hash from aldi um i love corned beef hash um some people say you know i've never had it don't know how to cook it um, everybody cooks theirs different, but how I make mine is I just pour it out of the can. Um, I fry me some bacon. I put just a little bit of the bacon grease into this, um, whatever I'm cooking it in. And I stir it up into my corned beef hash and that's going to give it some flavor. And then I, y'all, I take my corned beef hash after I either make grits, I eat mine with grits and I eat mine with rice. And I just crumble up my bacon over my um, corned beef hash and I eat it and it's very good. I'm just a country girl, I guess. And so, let's see, that was $1.69. I think that's a little bit, might be a little bit cheaper than the other places I've gotten it from. Now, I don't know what this brand tastes like though, so. Um, this is evaporated milk. This is a 12 fluid ounce can. So it's a decent size can and course you know you can bake with this right here and it says vitamin d added so oh how much was it oh this was 70 79 cent and then i got some chili no beans for 99 cent i haven't had this brand either but hey the hot dog on the front looked good with that chili <laughs> so you know i got it we'll see what it tastes like and if i like it i'll start getting them from there and I got these peaches for $0.95 cent from Aldi, but I don't know why I got it because I didn't realize it was in extra light syrup. I like to get, if I get canned good, um, any kind of fruit, I like for it to be in water because there's less sugar for me. And y'all, I don't know why I got it either because, well, yeah, I do. You should always have these, even though I do intend to can my own um peaches and other fruits over the summer well spring and summer and so i got um hamburger dill chips 
for $1.39. Uh, I think I have like two or three of these, so I don't think I need any more of those. This is a big jar, 32 ounces. And then I got some salsa right here for 75 cents. And this grits was $1.29, which is cheaper than the one in Walmart of the same size. I think um, the one in Walmart is about $185, 195 if I'm not mistaken. And then I got some clear soap for $69. Although it's not antibacterial, I did get it. It's better than using nothing. Um, but I tend to try to look for my dishwashing liquids that have antibacterial in it and that way i can refill with those if i can't find the little ones with antibacterial so that's just a tip i got some fruit grain soft bake bars for a dollar 35 y'all and you get eight of these and this is a good snack or uh, actually a meal if you wanted to do like say this right here and then maybe drink a v8 or a smoothie or something and then you're not i don't know how much sugar in here i want to tell y'all wrong it's it's 12 grams of sugar in here and when you're actually dieting you don't want to go over like nine but y'all you only live once so we have some super moist cake mix because i needed to add some cake mix to my house and i, I don't have any other excuse for buying that other than i just wanted to get it, it wasn't a need um this was cheaper at aldi's than at Bilo or I think Walmart. The vegetable oil is a 48 fluent ounce and this was like a dollar and 69 cents. So of course I got two, even though I just bought maybe three of those. I bought two this size and then that huge one. Oh, the vinegar right here. Y'all know you can clean with vinegar. If you don't know, now you know. You can clean anything with vinegar, okay? And you can can your foods if it calls for vinegar. This is the vinegar you want, distilled white vinegar. That was 69 cents. So y'all, that's it for my haul. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Um, thank y'all for being here. If you are new or returning, thank y'all for being here. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video. If you want to see more haul videos on my channel, let me know in the comments. If you have ideas for me for um, different haul videos, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear it and I would love to talk to you. And so I'm going to end this video because it is extremely long. <laughs> so y'all take care. Remember that I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. So be the best you that you can be. And when you are that person, go out and spread God's love with distance.